hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to many photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the skin retouching process in photoshop 2022 let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so before image was like that and after editing and uh, retouching the face we are getting the result like that so let's get started photo i got this one from the freepeak.com and i'll provide you that stock photo download link in my video description and I'll provide you that download link in my video description so here i at first i done the retouching with the neural filter and other stuffs and after that dodge and burning process and after that high pass and then we'll do use the effects uh, from the nick collection and other stuffs so so going to the file at first taking open options from here i'll open up that image which i downloaded from like a uh, pre-peak or other stuffs so here showing some uh, like a uh, pop-up window it's telling that the color mode is different from my uh, setup uh, that's not a, a big deal I press the ok button so after that making another copy for the backup giving here retouch so that's good and now we'll do at first the spot removal portion and after the spot removal we'll do the after making the spot removal we'll do the smooth skin process and then do other steps so here the spot healing brush tool over there make the brush size smaller and make the photo zoom so select once which area you want to make spot free you can touch over there make sure that the container is selected and the normal mode is okay over there selected and here the size of the brush that is 100 pixels and the hardness that is 100 percent and the spacing that is 23 percent and zero the angle and the radius 100 percent that's good let's go and here select once it will remove actually it's taking the pixels from behind or the beside and filling it up according to that that is the same process uh, like the clone you can do that things by cloning so you can do so this portion you can remove these areas as well so give more time to spot removal just because of that is vital points to remove just because of if the spot like uh, stay over there uh, the smooth skin is not working 100 percent and that is the secret when you are doing the smooth or uh, retouching the face or the portrait actually this portion there are lots of technique but easiest way i should follow you should follow actually so always i do prefer to use the easiest way how to retouch and uh, that is easiest but not compromising the quality you have to remember that so the, the easiest way i'm just showing over here so i'm taking time actually to removing and uh, making this one a little bit fast forward process is done now we'll go to the next step so let's see the before one and after one we just remove the prominent spots from the face and now going to the filter and neural filter by the way i'm using photoshop 2022 and neural filter is a life-saving filters and plugins from photoshop and you have to or you can take the advantage of that here is a skin smooth options just turn it on when you will turn it on it will take time to process the image whole image here is two portion blur and smoothing so i'm making the blur like minus or 18 that's good and the smooth i'll make it 36 so 18 twice are 36 that is the process so you can make this one uh 14 uh, like a twice portion or whatever you do like so i'm pretty much okay and happy with that and hit okay okay let's see the before and after use change over there 
and now press ctrl or command j and now going to the blending mode into screen that's good right press and blending options from here here is underlining layer and i'll find out the highlighted area from here and press the alter option button and divide this one and adjust the highlight area with the face and hit ok and now mask it out here is a mask options and after masking that going to the image and apply image and hit ok so another copy press ctrl or command j and i'll put it into the upside of the whole layer this one is the light so i'm giving the light and shadow that is the dodge and burn actually burn for the uh, shadow and uh, light for the dodge so that's good and shadow for this portion i'll make the blending mode into multiply right press and blending options from here now i'll work with this slider from the underlining layer and find out the shadow area press the alter option button divide the slider by pressing this and adjust the shadow with the face and hit ok and now mask it out and after that same process going to the image and apply image shadow is the opposite of the light that's why i'm making it invert and hit ok so making these two things in a group and giving the name d and b that is for the dodge and burn and again mask it out and the whole group and going to the image again and apply image uncheck the invert option and hit ok so let's see the before and after for the dodge and burn and now selecting these two things and making this one into smart object convert to smart object now i'll apply the filter or color filter from the nick collection going to the filter again and going to the nick collection and color effects pro 4 so this one is another plugins of the photoshop i'll provide you the download link in my video description please download over there and press the ok button from here i'm using the cross processing lots of filters or methods over there which one is perfect for your types it's totally up to you but my case i'm using the cross processing and from here uh, lots of sub layers or uh, from here i'm using the l03 here is the strength options if you need you can increase the strength up or down okay that's good and hit okay it will take time little bit time to load and provide you the final output and after that going to the levels options from here i'll adjust the light i'll make it a little bit darker and then this one d and b press another copy by pressing ctrl command j right press and restylize the layer and now i'll make it light the uh, soft light or hard light whatever it is vivid light okay after that going to the filter again and going to the other and from here high pass so from high pass options i'll make it a uh, little bit up just because of the texture will preserve by using this process one is good for me and hit okay and like that let's see the before one this one is our main non edited image and after adding the pieces actually i didn't use the piece over here i used lots of filters uh, like a retouch the from the neural filter and the dodge and burning process and color fix pro and then the high pass that's good and right down here sharp rename the layer and this one is the levels or adjustment that's good now save the project and that is pretty much done so let's see the before image going to there before and after so you are getting the huge changes and uh, smart looking all the stuffs is so easy so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and stay safe stay healthy and keep me in your prayers bye bye